Hello again everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. So let's see, the last episode consisted of me getting this ridiculous system up and running to the extent it is it is now. Um, along here I've got um, I've got my Jeevalite... Okay, so we've got the Jeevalite coming in by train over here, being crushed here, then being floated here, whatever that means. Um, and then down here, it's being to, uh, so it's being uh, floated and sorted into the um, various different types. So we've got the Jeevalite chunks and these funny crystal things. Then the Jeevalite chunks are being sorted over here into iron, uh, copper, zinc, and um, and slag. So we've got everything being and oh, and something else. What are these things? Um, I can't tell. Let's find out. And aluminium, right? Okay. So, uh, so those are the, those are all the different products that come out of sorting Jeevalite chunks. Um, so my next step is to actually do something with all of these. So I need to obviously process the iron, process the copper, process the um, zinc, and process the aluminium. So let's have a bit of a think about how to do that. And it has occur just occurred to me, I'm getting worryingly close to where the uh, bus is trying to come through. So this might be going to cause me some problems in the future. Um, but I think for now, I mean, I guess what I could do is I could point the um, some of these downwards. But then I was hoping to feed this in along here and oh dear it's going all, going all going to go horribly wrong i'm running out of space in general actually so but let's let's get it set up first and then, then i can find out what i need to actually deal with all the um all these different uh, products and then from there i can work out where i need to put them in order to get it to actually actually fit so first thing to do is to have a look at the um have a look at the uh, zinc ore and remind myself how to deal with this so this was there were oh yeah there were three things i could do here weren't there there was either lead and oxygen to make lead and zinc and, 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 and gas or it was zinc to processed zinc plus oxygen and carbon and I think I've got lead fairly nearby so and I haven't I, I can make carbon I've, I've done it before but it's um, but since I've got the lead let's give that a shot that's this one so I need to make some chemical furnaces and um, and I need to make some oxygen now ox making oxygen is a is a solved problem I've done it over here here for the steel um, I did it a couple of different ways. One of them produces slag, wasn't it? Yes. Um, so that was that was just turning water into oxygen. This was turning air into oxygen and um, something else, nitrogen. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's go for the. Um, I don't know which of these is better, to be honest. Um, so, so, so this one takes two seconds to produce 50 of each, and the compressed air takes six seconds to produce 200. So four. So every four seconds. Every three seconds, uh, if we have one of each machine, every three seconds it'll produce 50. Alternatively, I can... No, the other way around. Alternatively, I can... Uh, where's the other way of doing this? Here we go, from water, every four seconds. Okay, so this is slower and produces slag as well. Okay, let's go for the um, let's go for the clean one that doesn't doesn't produce any slag, although I, mean, I could feed it back to this slag processing facility here. But yeah. anyway, so I need um, an air compressor, which isn't called that. So basically any chemical plant, but also to make the compressed air, I need an air, fil oh, air filter. Okay, one of them. And the other thing was a chemical plant. I probably shouldn't use that. Maybe that's cheating. I don't know. So I need more. I need more steel. Okay, that's doable. At least I'm building all of this down fairly close to my, the end of the bus, so it means all of my all of my supplies are easy to get at. Oh, that's big. Um, yeah, squeeze that in there. And that there. I think if I remember correctly, the red one is the oxygen. Okay, next step. Molten lead. Presumably that's... Oh, lead ingots. How do I get lead ingots from here? Okay. Lead ore. I don't have lead ore. I just have lead. Can't I just melt the lead I've already got to make molten lead? Surely that... Surely... I mean, come on. There must be a better way to make lead ingots, when given that I already have lead, than to faff around with everything else here. Apparently not. Okay. Where do I get lead ore from then. Crush gratinium and crush rubite. This is getting harder and harder. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm not going to be processing the um, the zinc that way. I'm going to be taking the zinc. I thought lead was going to be easy because I've got it. I've got, I have so much lead. I just can't, apparently can't turn lead plates into lead ingots, which seems like nonsense. But okay, so I'm going to process it in an ore processing machine Oops. and then and then add oxygen and carbon. Okay, did I misread though? I not have an ore processing machine yet. No, I don't. I need this one and that and that one. Okay, this is going to go on hold for a little while while I do some research. Am I overlooking something there? I mean, how can it be that hard to get 
turn lead into lead ingots. And this is lead, isn't it? This stuff, yeah, lead plate. Lead plate, lead ingots. So yeah, that comes from crush Okay. Batteries, bullets, deuterium, thorium. That's bizarre that you can make that you can make lead plates from you can make lead plates from molten lead, but you can't make molten lead from lead plates. Who designed this, really? <laughs> Great. Um, yeah, back to the old drawing board uh, to an extent. But I suppose eventually I'll hopefully get that up and running, um, and we'll be able to give that one a try as well. But uh, for now, I'm limited to uh, producing lead in a slightly different way, uh, to producing zinc in a slightly different way. What do you do with aluminium apart from stick it in a um, uh, apart from stick it in a in a warehouse? Catalysts, processed aluminium, pellets. I don't know if any of that's remotely useful. Maybe that's why the um, the it looked like it was just a a, a, fix, a fixed loop of the lead stuff. So in theory, I could get a small amount of it made almost by hand rather than through a um, by having a nice stream of it coming through, and then just keep using the same lead over and over again as a um, as a just as a as a catalyst for the uh, for the zinc production. Maybe that's what I should be doing. Um, Especially as, oh, this is a... Yes, this requires blue science. I didn't check that properly. I guess I won't be doing that then. Um, okay, back to the uh, back to the first drawing board. Welcome to Lawrence stands still and and stares at, um, at, stares at various recipes and tries to work out how on earth to do, do them. Okay, all right. Lead ingot, lead ingot, lead ore, tritinium and rubite, mineral slug, bloody hell. I mean, none of this looks straightforward. This is... I need the mineral catalyst, which is difficult to make because it requires mineral sludge. Or I need oh, crotinium, crotinium chunks. Okay, so if I start sorting um, crotinium in the same way that I'm currently sorting jeevalite, then I can get some lead ore out of it. Okay, uh, or rubite chunk, which means so. Okay, so doing the same thing with rubite. That's another possibility. Or ah, this looks possible. Crushed rubite turns into slag lead ore and nickel ore. Right. Okay. Let's let's do that one. I think. Yeah. That one. Crushed rubite I've got. Lead ore comes straight out of that and it's done in a sorting facility. Which again is something I've already got. So I can do this up here on my existing um, rubite inputs. This is not really balanced. Oh it could be though. If I take that and put that there then I've balanced my inputs here. So that means I can pull off any one of these outputs diff a different amount and it doesn't matter, it won't upset how the um, the stuff is coming out of the trains. Which means I can empty my inventory, rip up a load, a big chunk of this stuff and put in some ore sorters and then try and squeeze something useful in after that. Possibly, this, this may just mean chucking it all in a, um, in a warehouse, but still that's kind of sorting it. Right, what have I got here that's rubbish? That, that, don't need that it turns out. That'll do. Okay. So I do need a. So this is my crushed uh, rubite. So I'm. But I don't need any of this. And I don't think I need coal coming in either. And I certainly don't need lead plates coming out because I'm not going to be doing lead plates. Right. What I do need is ore sorting facilities. Let's have two. Because why not? And yeah, they can have two going into each one. That's fine. And I want to sort crushed rubite. Yes, crushed rubite, which produces slag and lead and whatever that is. Another belt line. I think for the time being, I'm just going to shove all of this in a warehouse and forget about it because I don't know what else I want to do with it later. At least I would if I had the resources to build a warehouse. Stop picking up stone, I don't want that. There we go. Warehouse. Excellent. The warehouse can go. Yeah, let's just put it here for now because I'm doing this kind of the lazy way. Just wanting to try and get that lead ore produced so that I can start actually getting all of the um, getting my uh, zinc up and running and I think once I've got a relatively small amount of it I should be able to just push it from there over to um, uh, once I've got a relatively small amount of the lead run, um, working for me I should be able to just dump it all into the uh, I should be able to just use it as a catalyst and keep it going round and round in circles zinc, zinc ore, zinc ore, molten lead, making lead ingots out of lead ore and oxygen gas. Okay, uh, using advanced lead smelting, which is something I can research, thank goodness for that. In a blast furnace. Can I make blast furnaces? I can, or at least I could have had more bricks. Okay, no problem. 
let's just make one of them and I'll shove it in down here and it can run for a little while and yeah just whip up some um, lead for me so I wanted to make wait what oh yeah need to wait for research research to finish so I had some feedback earlier today apparently um, my rather slapdash um, placement of um, of stone bricks has, uh, has, has let's say it's upset some people a little bit I don't think it's anything too serious um, hopefully they'll carry on watching I guess I'll never know if they don't um, <laughs> but uh, my rather slapdash application of them is, is, is a little bit um, a little bit upsetting apparently so what I'm going to do now while I'm waiting for all, all this to finish not I'm gonna have time to um, oh that's already full <laughs> is grab some more grab some more of the stone brick and attempt to maybe I'll attempt to tidy up around the edges a little bit just to uh, because I do believe in keeping my viewers happy, I promise. So there we go, there's 7,000. Let's see what I can do with that. I don't even know if this is going to be enough to tidy the edges up. Am I allowed to have um, slight diagonal lines like that? I hope so. Fill, fill in down there. That at least looks deliberate and consistent. Now this bit down here I was originally building as an actual um, road. So that must be okay, right? If I build up to this wall here and then just go across. There we go, that's, that's sort of tidy. Over here definitely isn't, but I can start from there. Now the problem here is, we all know I'm a little bit inaccurate with the mouse. So there's going to be little bits of that where it's um, it's not quite a perfect straight line, even though I intended it to be. But it's um, better, right? And over here, that's definitely not straight. I'm not sure what I was planning down here. This might have been um, going to be just alongside the um, the bus, as, as I have more, had enough stone for it. So let's run this down to about here somewhere, and back up here. Oh, and I've run out. Okay, oh, and my, uh, my research is finished, so um, I think that means it's time to go back and have a look at this uh, this thing here. So I want to make lead ingots, <clears throat> and that means I need oxygen. Now, oxygen is something I did solve earlier. Oh, I've put all my stuff down up here. Uh, did I get rid of those? Yes, <laughs> of course. In an attempt to keep my inventory tidy, I got rid of those things. Um, the For making the oxygen, what was it? It was a um, an air filter and a chemical lab, as far as I remember. So you, I want that back and that back down here. Now this is all also a bit messy, but I think at this point I don't really care all that much about it being a little bit messy. Uh, which side does the option come out? I think it's this side. Yes, it is. Excellent. Um, I don't really care about it being a bit messy because this this part is only going to be temporary. It's just to get me enough enough lead to start everything going and ev and and get my zinc production up and running. Oh, I'm going to need a um, it's called flare stack. There we go. Oh, good, I've got the parts. Um, this is just here to get my um, zinc production up and running. Once I've produced a decent amount of um, of lead, lead ingots, I can just run around and clear everything out and just yeah, I can carry it down there manually and then I can rip these up because I won't need them anymore. Oh, that requires fuel as well, does it? Okay, fuel pollution. Nice. Um, what are you waiting? Are you you limited by oxygen? Are you? No, you're limited by the. Oh, you need a um, what do you call it? One of them flare stack as well. Ah, uh, I didn't have enough for two flare stacks. Steel, of course. I suppose the other thing I should do is have this unload into a chest at least. Uh, chest, chest, chest. All right, let's put it on this side. Okay, so that's that's getting me the um, the iron ingots I need. So let's have another quick look at this recipe. Zinc, oxygen, molten lead. Molten lead comes from lead ingots in an induction furnace. So I need an induction furnace and chemical furnace and also this oxygen supply it doesn't need an enormous amount of lead so to be honest this amount I've produced so far is probably going to be plenty so let's pull all this back up again because I'm going to need it further down the um, system and then come back down here to build up the next stage of my um, gargantuan zinc production empire shenanigans nonsense right let's see so down here we need to produce oxygen. I'm going to do this over. Actually, I'm going to do this over here this time um, because it keeps things a bit more out of the way and it gives me a bit more room for expansion. I, I feel like I'm going to run out of space less quickly if I do this. <laughs> so you're going to split air. You're going to make it compress air, not make it really. Um, then I've forgotten what I said I needed: chemical furnace, induction furnace, and more steel. Always with the more steel. You know, maybe I should just pick up an enormous quantity of it. I don't know, but <laughs> I'd probably still burn through it. Okay, so down here we have uh, the blast furnace. Blimey, that's enormous. Uh, before, that's what she said. 
What? Have I got the wrong thing? Have I not got the recipe? So the chemical furnace turns the zinc into stuff, and the induction furnace turns the lead into molten. Did I put down the wrong thing? I think I did. There we go, that's what I wanted. Um, induction furnace. Put that there. And I can run a pipe. No, I can't have... Yes, I can. Like that. So you're making molten lead. You're using the molten lead and then feeding the lead back into it. Have some lead. It's producing sulfur dioxide. That sounds sounds like something I'm just going to vent for now. Okay, that seems to be melting some... Uh, that seems to be melting my lead. That's good. And then over here, we need to be inserting the zinc and also pulling it out. Pulling the um, created zinc out. How are we doing? Not enough ore. How much does it need? 24. Great. <laughs> Okay, I'll just make these a bit longer, that'll let a bit more through. Ooh. Oh, um, that's not... Okay. If I do... Um, how about... Have I got filter inserters? Where are my filter inserters? I can make one, and then I run out of electronics boards. Okay, so if I make one, put them on one side of the belt, and the other put them on the other side of the belt, then hopefully I won't have a problem. Uh, oh yeah, it's electronic boards. Or something. Or my better actually no forget that let's not let's not do it that way let's use the, just use the splitters as we normally do so immediately split that I want the zinc zinc I don't know your iron zinc nickel I don't even know which is which <laughs> there's so many different things that are all about the same color that's tin oh it's these ones zinc to go yeah go left that's good and then I can have this one sort of putting it, pulling down here um of course the downside is I put so much in here that it's not going to need any more for a while um. But now I can, yeah, now I can run this off to the bus, wherever the bus is. <laughs> much, much closer. Okay, cool. Um, I just need to start pulling in the um, the iron properly over here and, and dealing with it. So that's easy enough to do. I don't know how many of these I'm going to need. Let's start off with that many and see how it goes. Although it looks like I'm producing quite a lot more iron than I am copper. Um, so we'll, well, we'll see. What's the coverage of one of these? Quite big. Oh wait, I need coal in here as well, because these are furnaces. Oh, grief, where's my nearest coal supply? It was over there. Okay. It's going to turn into a silly tangle, but never mind. Now why has it stopped? What have I built up too much of and can't deal with? Oh, is this going to be the, um, whatever fluid this is? Yeah, so the fluoric wastewater that's supposed to be being recycled by this... Oh, has made an infinite number of crystals. Great. Um, I'm just going to pretend these are exactly the same sort of crystals as the other one, and shove them in that same warehouse until I realise I've got too many and don't know and, and don't know what to do with them all. Just like that. Okay, so it's not the it's not that we um, produce too much fluoric wastewater. I don't think it's that um, the with the uh, crystals things filled up and yeah, I didn't have anything else to do with it because of that. Okay, here we go. More delicious inputs. Okay, these need to be um, activated, and then this needs to be run somewhere. Oh, oh over there. All right, sure. I am aware that I'm shoving all of my crushed stone on exactly the same belt, and that eventually it's going to get a, a bit full, should we say? In fact, I'm honestly quite surprised it hasn't become a problem yet. But hey, it seems to be working, so I'll um, I'll just keep shoving it on there until my production outweighs my uh, disposal. Okay, that's going to last for a long time at this rate. I say at this rate, I haven't even got it really started yet, so um, at this rate is not particularly really meaningful. Oh yes, I've got the aluminium ore as well, haven't I? Um, although that isn't why this has stopped. Why has it stopped? It's not got enough oxygen. Why has it not got enough oxygen? Oh, because this is full of nitrogen. There we go. I don't feel particularly guilty about venting nitrogen into the atmosphere. It doesn't seem like it's um, <laughs> that much of a pollutant, if I'm being quite honest. I'm going to put a um, a box in here, I think, because I'm concerned that this is going to fill up rather. This this basically this belt here is not enough of a buffer to maintain the amount of lead I suspect I might need to have stored. So putting a box there will keep that a bit more nicely sorted. This aluminium, I'm just going to put that in a in some sort of larger box. Um, where are all the all the silos? Because I think. Perhaps an ore silo rather than a um, rather than a tube of light. I still don't know if those actually matter. Let's just put it in a normal silo. See how long this lasts for. 
Um, yeah, so there's lots of different types of silos along here. I don't know if they're actually remotely different, whether it matters which sort of silo you put stuff in, whether you can only put um, Jeevalite in a Jeevalite silo, that sort of thing. Uh, but I don't really want to find out the hard way, so let's just do that. Put all the aluminium in here. Okay, okay, this, this seems to be working. I'm quite pleased with that. It took quite a lot of building up. Um, my entire bus is now going to run smack into it because it comes down about here which is only a little bit of a problem. <laughs> let's pick that up for now. So let's see. How wide is the bus at this point? Well, not including these two. So we've got ten. Ten wide plus an additional one for the um, zinc. Okay. So let's say zinc can split here like that. And I've got five on that side, a gap of two, <clears throat> and then six there. So that's that is the location of where the, the bus currently is. Um, and I think that's probably okay. It's a bit close, if I'm being honest. I probably should have left a lot more space or gone off in the opposite direction. How big has this whole system been? Yeah, if I'd gone the opposite direction, I'd have had to go across the railways and it would more or less have butted up against that wall on the other side. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that was quite a bit... Possibly, possibly I should have just started building that somewhere completely different. I don't know. Um, but for now, that will probably do. Running the bus down here is going to be slightly problematic. Um, I can bring it down. Yeah, I can bring it down past here. That's not a problem. But it's then where do I put all of the buildings, or the, the stuff that's being built off the bus? I guess the idea is I just carry on down here, and hopefully fairly soon I'll come out and knock out these biters and take out and mine this sapphire and stuff. Although of course my new bus is now going to run straight into that cretinium and that sapphire, but not that one. So that, that one's bigger, so I'll probably use that one instead or that one. Um, okay, I don't care about any of that, so that's fine. Um, let's do that, and I shall start then thinking about better um, better inserters, because that was the whole point of doing all of this, if you, if you remember. I don't know if you do remember, it's been so long since I started all of this business <laughs> that I would, quite, I would definitely forgive you if, you, if you're going, what, 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 why was he doing all this? What's that for? So that's that one. Oh, look at that planning ahead there. I knew I was going to need to bridge this. I knew I was going to have the bus come through here at some point, so I made sure my um, inputs were. Uh, my I was uh, bridging across the, um, the the ammo belt was bridged across the where the bus is going to go. That's remarkably prescient for me. Ooh, just got that in time. Okay, yeah, I think I've got all that all that right. Right, done. So having looking at this, oh, okay, I need to feed this. In fact, I need to feed both of these across to the um, the bus and try and merge them into the um, supplies that are coming through from above. And I also need to make sure I'm using enough of both of these. Yeah, I need to make sure I'm using enough of both the um, the iron and the copper that it gets used up and I don't have problems with it backing up. So you want the input priority to be on the left and you want the input priority to be on the left as well. So that means anything downstream from these um, these smelting arrays will prioritise using the stuff coming out of here first, and then we'll use the stuff coming from further up in the base, which is presumably going to be less um, contested. Uh, contested? No. It's presumably going to have slight. Oh dear, I've gone wrong. Where have I gone wrong? Gone wrong here. Great. <laughs> I don't want all this stone. I guess I don't have a choice. I need to pick it all up, or I'll go further wrong later. Uh, there we go. And why is there nothing coming down here? Oh, I just missed this brick out as well. There we go. Ha! Look at all my resources. Where am I fighting at the moment? Oh, over there. That's fine. They're not doing much damage. Okie dokie. Right. That's pretty good. I've got what looks like a reasonable quantity of zinc coming through. It is only one... Actually, the limiting factor isn't this machine at the moment. The limiting factor is the um, is these flotation vessel cell things. So I think that means I should probably run this belt up and merge the two so I've got twice as much coming through. That's quite quick and easy and that means I don't have to build anything else as well so because these, these sorters are clearly more than keeping up. I think there's only one of them that's actually doing anything at all. So if I bring this up like this, put it in there, and then there's one here in there, and then both of them will just sort of work to get both sides. That splitter will just deal with both of them as they come through. I suspect at some point I'm going to need a lot more of these flotation cells. Um, but that's why I've got so much space here for expansion. Almost like I actually planned ahead. I mean, <laughs> don't expect that to happen very often, but in this particular occasion, it seems to, I seem to have managed it. 
Right then. So, the, as I was saying, the whole point of doing all of this business was so that I could get myself these fast inserters. Oh, they require bronze, which is another step. Lovely. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten about, all about that. <laughs> um, bronze plate. Okay, so bronze plate is made from molten bronze. I mean, copper ingots and tin, tin ingots. Oh, right. Okay, I should be catching that copper ore and not just turning it all into copper then. Uh, and tin ingot. Hang on, what? I'm very confused. It's not bronze I'm looking for, is it? It's brass, which is copper ingots and zinc ingots. Right, okay. Um, I'm going to check that. No, it's bronze. I don't believe that. Have I been looking at the wrong thing all the way through this? That is amazing. I can't believe I've done that. So, insert. <laughs> I can't believe I've done all that. And I don't even need zinc at the moment. Um, so, inserter, basic electronic or steel, that's all, all doable. Bronze plate, molten bronze, copper and tin ingots. Okay, so I've learnt to make, right, tin ingots comes from tin ore, which comes from stereotype junk. I'm, I'm speechless. I think it looks like I need to do basically the whole same, same whole thing again, but with either bobmonium, oh bobmonium makes zinc as well, shame I didn't do that one from the start. Um, oh, tin ore comes out of crushed bobmonium as well, that's much easier then, okay. Well, I'm sure this will come in useful later. I'm probably going to need my. Uh, I'm probably going to need all this, um, all, all this zinc at some point, <laughs> and it's prob hopefully it's made for a good episode or two. Um, right. So um, yes, good. Well, that was a uh, that was a nice diversion, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> I guess the um, so at least at least on the plus side, I've got zinc. I may find that quite useful at some point in the future. Um, in the meantime, for the next episode, I guess I'm going to start making. Bobmonium. I'm just going to probably going to replace this section. Start making. Here we've got. Yeah. So this is the tin ore we're talking about. So I need tin ore and tin ingot in a um, blast furnace. So I get that. And then what was the other thing? Copper ingot, which is copper ore. Okay. So I do still need copper ore, which is not something I'm getting out of any of this. Oh, so it is. I'm something I'm getting out here from this jeweleite. And then so this this system here could have been making that. Alternatively, I can get this system down here if I uh, stop it just smelting this straight into copper plates. I can start making copper ingots out of that, um, and that'll get me my um, copper yeah copper ingots. And then, and then they're quite a long way apart. That's <laughs> that's a pain. Um, maybe I'll do another bobmonium mine. It seems a bit of a bit of a waste of sp waste when I've when this one's running quite nicely. And, I suppose it's only got 221,000 left. That's not a huge amount. Um, hmm. I think eventually I'm going to want to do bobmonium properly. So how about in the next episode I build up a bobmonium train receiving station here and deal with bobmonium a bit more on a slightly larger scale. And from that I can pull out the tin and tin ore, and I've got copper ore from here, and I can use those to make the um, make the apparently the bronze that I need instead of the brass which I thought I needed and that will uh, allow me to make then make those faster inserters right well this has been a a rather silly episode I've um, I built up some stuff that I don't have any actual use for at the moment uh, let's to satisfy my curiosity let's have a look and see what um, tin 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 what have, what have I what have I just been making I've forgotten zinc yes okay let's have a look and see what I can actually use zinc for later so I've got zinc ingots, brass, zinc, solder, bronze, brass, bronze? Okay, so I could mix some of these zinc ingots with the copper and the tin. Um, maybe that makes me more. So for uh, 20, 36 ingots input, I get 360, so that's, that's 10 times as much. The other one is also 10 times as much, so it's just a way of using up zinc then. <laughs> okay. okay, so brass gets used for... Posh electronics <laughs> distilleries, that sounds fun. Brass chest, nice. Gear wheel, pipe, pipe distractor robot, steam engine three. Okay, so brass does get used for a fair amount of stuff, um, and zinc will allow me to make that. So I'm going to need it at some point by the looks of it. Chemical plant mine. So there's lots of yeah, lots of the more advanced things. Oh like gun turret three, that's gonna need it. Mining drill three, pump chest. So the Mark Threes of lots of these things are going to use this brass if I ever do make any of it. There's a lot of these things 
generally, yeah, there's a lot of the, the more advanced versions of everything. So Radar 3, for example. Where's that? Where is that? Radar 3. Oh, needs aluminium as well, but that's something I've got. Electronic circuit boards. That makes trick transistor. Okay, that's getting complicated again. Next question. What can you do with just... Uh, what can you do with just zinc plates? Silver zinc batteries, that's all. Okay. So that's so zinc isn't actually all that useful. It goes into bronze, which goes into lots of the later tier things. But generally, it's not a particularly useful metal. So I've, uh, that. let's just say that hasn't been the most productive um, episode I've ever done. <laughs> Leave it at that, shall we? Okay. Yeah, so um, this is probably a good, as I say, a good point to stop. I'll go and hang my head in shame for a bit, and then uh, in the next episode I'll come back and I'll make some. I'll I'll start up a bobmonium um, refinery. I'll go out maybe claim some of these bobmonium patches. That's four million, two million, eight million. Yeah, they're all quite good. And run some run train down to, from there to get to bring those in. And well, we'll um, and then we'll see. So yes, next step. Next step will be the bobmonium, and. And of course the feeling a bit silly. So yes, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.